What up, what up, what up? We back in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Happy Sabbath, Shabbat Shalom, Shalom to my family. Yes, sir. Shalom, family. To the 12 tribes scattered worldwide. And as always, all praise, honor, and great glory is unto our God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. To my brothers and sisters in the faith, yes, mm, we salute you. We in the building. In the building, baby. Yes, sir. What the book say, radio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Order McKell's deck. Ten toe down, feet back on the bricks. Ready to put it in work. Yes, feet on the slab, baby. We coming at you one more game. Ready to try down the adversary with a double. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let it play for a little bit. Let it play for a little bit. That's you right there, brother. Yes, sir. On a Sabbath day. Sabbath day love. Yeah, Sabbath day love. The real, true Sabbath. Uh -huh. Not that straight guy that y'all do on that Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We keep the most high Sabbath as he commands. Yeah, worshiping that sun god on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Cut that intro, bro. Y'all got that blue vision. Blue vision. <laughs> Yes, sir. All right, bro, Danny, man, we could let that play all night. So, cool, yeah, nigga, that was bumping cool. out like Try that. Good, oh, definitely. Go on, tell them what we doing tonight, brother. We get yourself together. Hey, everybody, man, welcome, welcome, welcome again to the Friday night Bible study with me, your boy Gershon Israel, and over here next to me is T Boogie. T Boogie, better known yeah. as Terry Israel, in the building. Yeah, I am your reader. Mm -hmm. And we are here to tie down our adversary with the devil. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. As always. Mm -hmm. Look, today's lesson is blue vision uh -huh. and dull ears. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Blue vision yes, sir. and dull ears. And dull ears, bro. His name was his lesson. Yes, sir. So I'm going to give it up to my chief reader. Yes, sir. T. Boogie, Terrence Israel Butler. Yes, sir. Hey, man. You know, we've been doing this series on the mind. Uh -huh. This the four leg on a five leg series right. on the mind. Mm -hmm. You know, so we still dealing with the mind. And like the brother said, it's blurred vision, dull hearing. We even going to talk a little bit about, you know what I'm saying, comprehension. So this this lesson tonight is about Israel's lack of, of ability to comprehend uh -huh. or to see or to hear or to understand or to apprehend their place and the word of God, because He gave His stat law, statutes, and commandments to Israel, wow. and so Israel has a hearing problem. Mm -hmm. Israel has a listening problem. A very Israel very has problem. a problem understanding That's and comprehending right. Right. what the Most High God has told us to do. So. We're going to be doing like we always do. We know we do word studies. We break it down uh -huh. to everything. And then, right. so we're going to give you a little uh, intro to this. I'm going to read the definition of blurred vision. Now, I'm going to read this definition, but I want you guys to get out of the physical mm -hmm. and deal with your mind, deal with the spiritual. That's right. All right, brothers and sisters? That's right. So, a condition of blurred vision, is, is, is it reads as such. A condition mm. which makes it impossible to see clearly. Mm. So when you got blurred vision spiritually, you can't understand the word of God. You can't see what the Lord is trying to teach you and tell you. That's right. When you got That's blurred right. vision. That's right. That's blurred right. vision refers to a lack of sharpness of vision mm -hmm. resulting in an inability to see fine detail. And by that fine detail in the word of God, he said, man, I'm utter dog saying, and the people that ain't with me, they ain't going to be able to understand. Right. That's right. He said, hey, I'm, I'm other dog saying. He said, so you ain't going to be able to see clearly. 
blurred vision is a result of abnormal. So Israel, for on a whole, for the most part, we abnormal. We ain't normal. Mm -hmm. See, because other mm -hmm. cultures and other people, they worship their God. They so do. We don't worship our they God. So do. You see they what I'm saying? Down, they, they bow down their God. And, 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 and a ride or die for their God. Right. So, so your inability to see, your inability to understand and to hear makes you abnormal. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. we're going to get into some more of this stuff in a little bit. Okay. But right now, we're going to kick it off in this first script. Okay. And I want y'all to pay close attention to these scripts because I know some of them are, are some familiar scripts to you. But we're going to dig a little bit deep and, 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 and see what the Most High God mm -hmm. is saying in these scripts. So the first place we're going, we're going to Deuteronomy, the four. Deuteronomy, the chapter the four. Uh -huh. we gonna, gonna hey man, we're going to pick it up at verse five because one of the first things the Lord told the children of Israel he said, take heed to yourself, meaning, hey, check yourself, examine right, yourself, right. mind your mind, and mind yourself. Mm -hmm. All right? So let's let's go and get in there. Deuteronomy the 4, brother. I don't want to do too much more talking. Okay. We're going to pick it up at the 5, and we're going to read verses 5 through 9. Look at what it say. It say, behold, I have taught you statutes <clears throat> and judgments, uh -huh. even as the Lord my God commanded me. Yes, sir. That ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. And this is Moses just reiterating what the Lord had already showed him to do and told him to do back in Exodus mm -hmm. uh, 20, back in Exodus 24. But go ahead and read. Say, keep therefore and do them. Uh-huh. For this is your wisdom uh -huh. and your understanding. In the sight of the nation. And if we had done this, we would be looked on as the most wisest and understanding people. That's right. But don't nobody look at it like we the dumbest. We they look, they look. And they I'm going to show you even the script. Your God called you stupid. Mm -hmm. We're going to read bro. that. That's sure, bro. Because our comprehension, our lack of vision, our lack of hearing, mm -hmm. our lack of understanding and comprehending and apprehending. Let's go ahead and read. Which say, uh, hear all these statutes uh -huh. and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Uh, a, a wise and understanding people. But go ahead and read. For what nation is there so great <coughs> uh -huh. who have God so nigh to them? Right. As the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. Okay, go ahead and read. And what nation is there so great uh -huh. that has statues and judgments so righteous as all this law uh -huh. which I set before you this day? You see, no, everybody was supposed to look at us Look at us as the top dog. Uh -huh. Everybody was supposed to look at us as mm -hmm. the most smartest, understanding, and wise people. That's right. If we would have did what the Most High gave us to do. Uh -huh. But go ahead and read. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. Read. Only take heed to thyself. Only take heed to thyself. And keep thy soul diligent. And keep your soul diligent. Go ahead. Lest thou forget the Stop. things. Lest thou forget. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we can't comprehend. We don't have understanding. That's right. Our mindset is far from the things of God. Because you got to understand what he's telling them. Uh -huh. In Exodus 19, the Lord told Moses to gather the elders right. and the people. And he said, hey, lest thou forget what thy eyes saw. What did they see? They saw the God right. of Israel. That's right. They heard the thunder. Mm -hmm. They heard the lightning. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and read. Lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen. Oh, uh, thy eyes have seen. And lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. Uh huh. But teach them. Uh huh. Thy sons and thy sons. But sons. teach them to thy sons and thy sons. So, see, if we were to talk to our sons and our sons, son, we wouldn't be murdering each other today. Right. Thou should not murder. Right. Right. See, if we were to talk to our sons right. and our right. sons, right. son, we would be the elevated people, mm -hmm. not the Desecrated people. The Lord even called us degenerate. That is degenerate. That means you good for nothing. You spoiled it. You waste. Dumb. Dumb. And he gonna call us that too. We gonna read that. But go ahead. That did bump. Yeah, that was it. That was it on there. Let's go to the next place. Now we gonna go pick it up at the curses. Some of the curses of Deuteronomy in the twenty eight. We can't read it all. But we just heard the Lord tell them not to forget. Right. Right. Now. He going to tell them what's going to happen to them if they do forget, mm -hmm. if they don't comprehend, if they don't remember mm -hmm. the thing that they have agreed to 
and the thing that he has taught them. Okay, the covenant. Mm -hmm. We can't read it all. <clears throat> bro, we're going to pick it up at the 15, then we're going to do a little skip. Okay. All right. All right. Pick it up at 15. What does it say, my brother? But it shall come to pass. Uh-huh. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh, if thou would not listen. Go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. What? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these curses. We ain't got time to read them all, but we're going to deal with the mind. Because we do, we dealing with the mind series, right? right. So we're going to deal with everything, the, per, the perceptors, which are your ears and your eyes and your memory. Right. All right, okay. skip down, brother, okay. and pick it up at verse 28. What did it say? The Lord shall smite thee with man. See, and we crazy. We we, we gone. <laughs> off the chain, bro. We off the yeah. chain. And so he said he going to smite Woo. me with man. And we it used to be, man, it, we you could say that we wasn't crazy. Mm -hmm. But now, man, Israel off the way. Uh, and these young cats is really gone. Man, I lost their mind. So he, this is the Lord. And I, I want you to understand, the Lord is doing this now. That's right. The, ain't the white man. He just using the white man to bring these curses up on you, Israel. And if you listen close and listen and read these curses, you will know that, hey, so-called black man, Mr. Negro, this is you. That's right. Go ahead and read. He's going to smite you with madness. And blindness. And, oh, now you ain't going to be able to see. But he ain't talking about blindness of the eye. Right. He's talking about blindness of this. No comprehension. But go ahead. And astonishment of heart. Oh, and you're gonna always be scared. Go ahead. And thou shalt grope at noonday. Uh-huh. As the blind grope it, grope it in the dark. Now he just made another analogy. You're gonna grope at noonday as the blind grope and feel for walls in the dark. Mm -hmm. Go out there at noon. Who on the street corner? Israel. Israel. Acting a fool. Acting a fool and don't know what to do with it. You groping at noonday like a blind man because you don't know what to do. Right. Go ahead and read, bro. And thou shalt not prosper in thy way. Uh-huh. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. Uh -huh. And no man shall save thee. And I don't care who he is. And no disrespect. Dr. King couldn't get you out of it. Mm -hmm. Brother Malcolm couldn't get you out of it. Mm -hmm. Marcus Garvey couldn't get you out of it. Farrakhan. Farrakhan couldn't get you out of it. Mm -hmm. Obama couldn't get you out of it. And we still marching today. And, and got Sophie. And and tired vocal cord. And that ain't gonna do that. And hey, I just saw the day. Uh sister main off duty cop hit her, killed her child, and they charged her. How that work? Man, that's the devil. That's and the no man that. shall save thee. How you gonna get out of this? Okay. Continue on, brother. Okay, bro. That was it. That was it. Skip down to 45. What did it say? 45. Uh-huh. Moreover. All the curses shall come upon thee uh -huh. and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. So, I don't care where you go, Israel. Mm -hmm. You can go to the suburb. You don't believe me? Ask the brother. What's his name? Michael Bennett. He thought he because he was a big ball of football player after they had that knee in his neck Just and that gun at his head. They're they going to overtake you. They're going to, wherever you go, they're going to chase you. They're going to chase you. Go ahead and read. Till thou be destroyed. Till thou be destroyed. Go ahead. Because thou heart is not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because you didn't listen. Devil of ill. That's right. Because thou hearken is not, go ahead to the voice of the Lord thy God. To keep his commandments. Uh-huh. And his statutes. Uh-huh. Which he commanded thee. Uh-huh. Skip down all the way down, brother, for the second time. Skip down to 63. And we're going to read 63 through 66. What does it say, my brother? And it shall come to pass. Uh-huh. That as the Lord rejoice over you to do you good. Uh-huh. And to multiply you. Yes, sir. So the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you. Wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute. Woo! Woo! Because you didn't listen. Woo! Because you didn't perceive. Because hey, you didn't remember. He said, as I rejoice over you to do you good, I'm going to rejoice over you to, to, to destroy you. you. Man. This God saying this. Ain't no Woo! white man saying this. So, hey. So, is he going to, what you going to do when God is against you? You can't do nothing. Man. Just like can't nobody do nothing when God is for you. Can't, when God is against you, it's do it's done. That's right. Because you don't want to listen. That's right. Because That's right. you don't want to perceive. Because you don't want to comprehend. Mm. We have a mm. comprehension problem. Continue to read, my brother. And to bring you to nothing. And to bring you to nothing. And you shall be plucked from off the land where thou goest to possess. Uh-huh. 
and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Yes, sir. From the one end of the earth, uh -huh. even even unto the other. Right. And then thou shalt serve other gods. And we've been dealing with that a little bit. <clears throat> we serve the God of Sunday. Yeah. We serve Muhammad, mm -hmm. Buddha. Mm -hmm. We want to be metaphysicists. Mm -hmm. We want to be Egyptologists. Mm -hmm. We do Christians. We do Easter. But our forefathers didn't know nothing about these gods. That's right. But he said, I'm going to scatter you to the four winds, and you're going to serve other, other gods. gods. Look around, and Israel always fight to try to get in somebody else's religion. Yeah. Just, just go back and do some quick research. Yeah. We always fight and try to get in somebody's house. We always, we, we even fought to become Masons, and that's directly satanic. Man, all the way satanic, brother. All the way, bro. Yes, but we always true. fighting to serve these other mm -hmm. gods instead of turning back into the mm -hmm. true and living God. That's right. The old, only power that's that right. is a power. That's right. Where we at, bro? Uh, we're, uh, we're in the middle of uh, 64. Go ahead and read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, uh -huh. even wood and stone. Go ahead. And, and among these nations shall thou find no ease. This is what he about to say. Neither shall the sole of thy feet have rest. Uh -huh. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart. A trembling mind. You're going to have a shake in Israel. Shake as they come. Nah, he's scared, bro. And, 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 and directly so. Because who more likely to get shot by the police? Israel. Who more likely to get shot by their own people? Israel. So you gonna have you gonna be scared all the time. You ain't when the police pull up behind you. Scared. Hey, you almost ready to crap in your draw. Oh yeah. Cause you don't know what's gonna happen. A simple tail like get you shot, reaching for your wallet, get you killed. Yeah. Not saying right. yes sir, no sir, or get you beat down. That's right. Even the sisters. Mm. But go ahead and read, brother. And fell in the mind. And fell in the mind. Oh, your eyes gonna fade. And, go ahead. And sorrow of mind. And you're gonna be, man, you're gonna be sad all the time. Ain't, ain't that us? Go ahead and read, bro. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Uh-huh. And thou shalt fear day and night. Day and night. And shall have none of the assurance of thy life. Hey man, you're gonna fear day and night. Mm. Mm. And you ain't gonna have none of the assurance um, of your life. Because you didn't listen. Because you didn't apprehend and comprehend. Yeah. We have a comprehension problem. I'm going to read something, bro. I'm going to read this right here. Comprehension. The definition of comprehension. Okay. It says the action or capability of understand, understanding something. It is understanding, grasping, grasping, apprehension, knowledge, Awareness, perception, interpretation. Mm -hmm. Matters that seem beyond our comprehension. We had the Lord give us these laws kind of men, and we didn't understand that, hey, <clears throat> if we only had done it, we'd be the top and not the bottom. But because we still yet don't understand, these curses continue to fall upon us. That's right. Because we don't listen and we don't hear. We don't use the perceptors that he has given us. Let's go further. Where we at, brother? Well, Isaiah 42, bro. Go to Isaiah the 42. Isaiah the 42. And we're going to pick it up. We're going to pick it up at verse 18, my brother. As mm -hmm. soon as I can get there. Isaiah the 42 and verse 18. What do it say? It say, hear ye deaf. Hear ye deaf. And look ye blind. He talking to you, Israel. That ye may see. That ye may see. Who is blind but myself? So, Israel, you don't want blind because ain't nobody else know this God. But go ahead and read. Or deaf as my messenger that I sent. Uh-huh. Who is blind as he that is perfect. Uh-huh. And blind as the Lord servant. And blind as the Lord servant. Go ahead and read. Seeing many things. See, now you see it a whole lot of stuff. You hear it a whole lot of stuff. Yes, sir. But guess what he say? But what? But thou observest not. You don't understand. You don't comprehend. That's right. Your mind is clouded up. Your vision is blurred, and your ears are dull. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. Opening the ears. Uh-huh. But he but he hear it not. Uh-huh. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness. Yes, faith. sir. He will magnify the law. Uh-huh. And make it honorable. And he going to make magnify the law so and good. make it honorable. Mm -hmm. To my studio people in there, can you turn the heat down for me? I'm sweating up here. To my studio personnel, turn the heat down, please. Mm -hmm. So... The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 22. Uh-huh. 
But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Yes, sir. They are all of them snared in holes. Yes. And they are hid in prison house. Now, who filled it up in prison? I'm going to ask the question Ooh, again. Israel, man. So, once again, here goes hmm. some more of these curses identifying who the true Israelites are. That's right. But, hey, That's right. when you go into these prisons, Israel don't want to hear nothing about the true and living power. They don't want to hear that. So they want to hear about but Allah. They, they ganged up with Allah. Yeah. They yeah. creeping in their blood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They gangster the disciples. Gangster the disciples, blood. But the true and living power. That's right. You don't want to hear about it. Continue to read. Mm -hmm. They are for a prey. Uh-huh. And none delivered. And none delivered. For a spoil. Uh-huh. And none said restore. And I say this all the time. Everybody got reparations over Israel. Mm -hmm. Ch Japanese got reparations. Uh -huh. Them fake Jews over there. Them Israel live, they got reparations. Indians got casino. Mm -hmm. Where your reparations at, Israel? They don't have none. And you ain't going to get none either. That 40 acre mule, cancel. Go ahead and read. Verse 23. Uh -huh. Who among you would give it to them? Which one of y'all going to listen? Go ahead. <laughs> Who will hearken and hear from the time to come? Who going to hearken and hear for the time to come? Mm -hmm. Who gave Jacob for a sport? Now he asking the question. Who did this to these black folks? My Lord did it, bro. That's right. Read it. In Israel to be robbed. Who gave Jacob for a spoil in Israel to the robbers? Go ahead and read. Did not the Lord. Uh, did not the Lord. He said it himself. We read it in Deuteronomy 28, didn't we? So did. Read on, brother. He against whom we have seen. Yes, sir. For they they would not walk in his way. Uh huh. Neither were they obedient unto his law. That's why. You were not obedient. You didn't remember. Mm -hmm. That's why he said, mm -hmm. Hear ye deaf, mm -hmm. and look ye mm -hmm. blind, that that's, ye may see. That's right. Read. That's right. That's right. 25. Okay, verse 25. Therefore, he had poured upon him the fury of his anger uh -huh. and the strength of battle. Uh -huh. And it had set him on fire round about. Set him on fire round. Right? Everywhere you turn, it's some drama. Sure will. Every, everything you try to do, it failed. Mm -hmm. Everybody you try to click up with, turn on you. He has set them on fire mm -hmm. round about. Finish it out. Yes, sir. Yeah, he knew not. And he knew it not. And he burned him. And it burned. Yet yeah, he laid it not to heart. Now, how you going to get burned and don't mm -hmm. start asking some questions? Uh, uh, excuse me, don't notice. That's right. He they said, don't consider, don't consider bro. Don't, consider, don't, co don't, don't comprehend. Consider. Don't understand because their mind is messed up. And we're going to read, hey, man, you keep on that way. The Lord going to mess your mind up where you can't turn back. He said that they all might be damned. That's right. That's right. We're going to read that. Next place. We're going to Zephaniah. Then we're going to get some more of this definition in, brother. We're going to Zephaniah, the one. We're going to read one verse, Daddy. We going to Zephaniah the one. We gonna get there. We gonna get there. Zephaniah the one. <clears throat> Excuse me. We gonna read one verse, my brother. We gonna read verse seventeen. Listen what he say. Hold on, brother. Yeah. There we go. My page is mm -hmm. stuck. Come on. Man. That's all right. We got time. All right. Here we go. Zephaniah the one. We gonna read one verse. Verse seventeen. What it say, mm -hmm. my brother? And I will bring distress upon me uh -huh. that they shall walk like blind men. That they shall walk like blind men. Blurry vision. Go ahead. Uh, because they have sinned against the Lord. Uh huh. And their blood shall be poured, poured out as dust. And what? Uh, and their flesh as the dung. Hey. And they flesh it. This brother said at the beginning of the lesson. Mm -hmm. Our body strolled out all over this country. Yes, ye on top of ye. As dung on the dung. street. That's it. I done seen brothers get killed and been left out there on the street, man. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yes, hey, the word of God ain't coming back void. It's going to come to that thing when he sent it. It's going to prosper in that day he pleads. Yes, Once he's spoken, prophecy cannot be broken. Oh, that's right. The word of God will not be broken. It ain't going to be broken. No, sir. Ain't nobody can break it. And you can't change it. He said, ain't nobody going to get you out of this. That's right. That's right. For lack of obedience, for lack of understanding. For lack of com comprehension, he said they're gonna do what? He gonna bring? They gonna walk as blind men? Mm -hmm. So I would have to ask myself, and I always say this: you can never separate the maker from science because he created it all. Right. So 
I did a little research, bro, and I said, <clears throat> I wanted to know, I, when I was putting this lesson together, I said, okay, so how do we understand mm -hmm. with our eyes? And one of the things that I, I came across, I found was interesting. I'm going to read this. It says, I asked this question, what part of the brain processes visual information? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's called the visual cortex. The visual cortex is the part of the brain of the cerebral cortex that processes visual information. It is the optical lobe in the back of the head, near your penile gland, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. Like we did with the penile gland level. Right. Hey, bro. So you can't separate God from science. But then it goes on to say this right here. How does the visual information get from the eyes to the brain? Mm -hmm. The information about the image via the eye is transmitted to the brain along the optic nerve. Mm. So now when you don't understand something, mm -hmm. then that means you have a abnormal brain function mm -hmm. as Israel seems to have. Mm -hmm. So when I said you were abnormal, I wouldn't lie because I can tell you, I can show you something in the book that said, you no, know, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Right. Take your Bible, show it you in your Bible, and you say, well, that ain't for me. That's right. That ain't, that ain't for the day. That's we right. do Sunday. That's right. You abnormal. It's you. Or, as I always like to say, you retarded. Sunday's Christian Saturday. Retarded. Yeah. You retarded. Mm -hmm. Because that is, a, when I say you retarded, that is a scientific fact. Fact. Because I just showed you, I can show you out of your Bible, something out of your Bible. Mm -hmm. And then you'll say, oh, well, we ain't got to do that. When the Lord just said, I'm punishing you for not doing it. That's right. Abnormal. So something's wrong. With, when I say something's wrong with your brain, that is a literal truth. But let's keep, keep it going. Right. Let's keep it going. Where we at? Yeah, Isaiah, Isaiah the 6. Flip back. <laughs> the brother Ike. So when y'all hear Brother T saying something like he retarded, she retarded, I'm not being facetious. When I'm telling you something with thus say the Lord and you Looking at me like I'm crazy. That's right. See, you abnormal thinking I'm abnormal. Really, you abnormal. They just retarded. They retarded. Yes, but let's go keep it moving. That is. That is. I said the six. <laughs> I said the six. And we're going to read verses eight through ten because <clears throat> people wonder why they can't understand. Right. We're going to find out why you can't. Now, we just read that that's a deficiency. That's an abnormal. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to understand who did it to you. Because we already said he's going to smite you with gladness and gladness. That's right. That's right. But let's go. Okay. Hey, brother, what did he say? Pick it up a day. What did he say? Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying. Uh -huh. and this is this is Isaiah when he saw a vision of the glory of the Lord. But go ahead and read. Whom shall I sing? Uh -huh. And whom will go for us? Wait a minute. Learning something on my way of learning something. Did he say, who going to go for me? He going to say, who going to go for us? So it's more than one. It ain't three. That's it's right. two. It's only two. But hey, Hello, he learning is. something on the way to learn something, but go ahead. Then said I, uh -huh. here I am. Send me. Go ahead. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed. Hear ye indeed. But understand not. But understand not. And see ye indeed. Uh -huh. But perceive not. Hey, he Ooh, keep, right. we driving this point home about the blurred vision and dull hearing. Mm -hmm. But go ahead. It's all over the book, but go ahead. Make the heart of this people fat. Now, I look at that word of fat, Danny. <laughs> the Lord may talk about us bad, but we don't even know. I look that word fat up in the, in the, in the concordance in the Hebrew. That means greasy, <laughs> filthy. <laughs> your mind is Man. greasy and filthy. Mm -hmm. He's like in your mind to a mind of a hog. Yeah, slop. Some straight slop. Yeah. But this is the Lord saying this stuff, man. <laughs> I, I, man, it, man. Man, when you start to understand what the Lord is really saying, man, you just, he make you feel bad about yourself, man. dude. But go ahead and read, man. Yes, sir. And yeah. make their ears heavy. Yeah, make their ears heavy. And shut their eyes. And shut their eyes. Unless they see with their eyes. Uh-huh. And hear with their ears. And what? And understand with their heart. Uh-huh. And convert and be healed. And, man, I'm going to tell you something. He really said, I'm through with these folks. That's right. He, it's, it's, it's a certain amount of people. And I keep telling you, you can go read it in Chron First Chron you can read it in Proverbs 28. Hey, man, he said, there is no more remedy. Ain't no. no more remedy. So he said, unless they be healed and converted, bro. That's right. He don't, and we're going to read it a little bit more clear in Matthew. Sometimes he just through with you. Mm -hmm. If you continue to be hard-headed, as he called, 
fat headed. Yeah. You now we say people got a fat head. Hey, he said you greasy, you greasy. You nasty. Swine. You a swine. Did we finish that? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah, we finished yeah, that. Yeah, we finished that. Let's go to the next place. Let's go to John the Twelve. Because, uh -huh. man, you got to seek the Lord while he may be fine. Because, see, at, at a couple point in time, he'll be through with you. Mm -hmm. He'll be through with you. And then you wonder what, what's really going on. Why? And he going to bring them curses down on you tenfold. John the Twelve, we're going to pick it up at the 36, brother. We're going to read verses 36 through 41. Seek the Lord while you may be found. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read. 36, okay. Mm -hmm. While ye have light, mm -hmm. believe in the light, mm -hmm. that ye may be children of light. Uh -huh. These things spake Jesus right. and departed and did hear himself from them. See, we dealt with that light thing too. He said, while you have some understanding or why this truth is in front of you, mm -hmm. you better walk like you got the truth and walk like you got some understanding. That's right. Why you got the light? Because he can take this light from you. And we're going to prove that through the reading of these scriptures. But go ahead and read. But though he had done so many miracles right. before them, uh -huh. yet they believed not on him. And they were just like their forefathers in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. They saw the thing that the Most High had done. They saw they saw the cloud and the smoke and the thunder yeah. light, and they still yeah, didn't they believe. believe. And now here you got this generation. Saw all these miracles, and they didn't believe. Didn't, not. Believe. didn't believe, bro. Right. They didn't believe what they lying eyes told them. What they lying is heard. That's right. They didn't believe. But go ahead and read. Verse 38. Read it. That the saying, saying of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled. Uh -huh. Which he spake, Lord, who have believed our report? Right. And to whom have the arm of the Lord been revealed? Yes, sir. Therefore they could not believe, believe because that Isaiah said, said again. Uh-huh. He had blinded their eyes. He had blind. Who blinded their eyes? The Lord. He said, He blinded their eyes. Go ahead. And hardened their heart. Yes, sir. That they should not see with their eyes uh -huh. or understand with their heart. Uh -huh. And be converted. Uh -huh. And I should heal them. He said, Hey, I close their understanding. Mm -hmm. I shut up their ears. I dug they I made their mind fat. And they can't comprehend. Mm -hmm. And they can't understand. Unless they be converted. Right. That's right. Now we're gonna read it again in Matthew, and Matthew's gonna say it a little bit more clear. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 41. Read it. These things said Isaiah when he saw his glory and spake on him. This is when Isaiah saw the glory of the Lord. Like we just read in that six. We didn't read all of it, but for the sake of time, we're gonna keep it moving, keep it groove. We're gonna come back to this though. But go, let's go to Jer I mean Second Thessalonians. Because a lot of times these jack leg preachers are to blame. Because you got some people, man, you got some people honestly seeking the Lord. You see what I'm saying? In these some of these churches, man. Even in some of these, they actually seeking the power that you can only get from the Most High God. Right. But then they've been deceived by these jack leg preachers. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you that they're working with the power of Satan and the spirit of the devil, man. Mm -hmm. Second Thessalonians, my mm -hmm. brother. And we're going to pick it up. At uh, Second Thessalonians 2, we're going to pick it up at the 8, man. Mm -hmm. We're going to pick it up at the 8. We ain't going to read this. Talk with us. It started out talking about the abomination of desolation, the man of sin. But mm -hmm. for the sake of time, we just go in here for, for something in particular. So pick it up at the eight, man. And then then and then shall that wicked be revealed. Uh -huh. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Uh -huh. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And this is when the Messiah comes back, but go ahead and read. Even him whose coming is out of the working of Satan. Uh -huh. Have all power and signs in line one. With all power and signs. See, look. Line one. That, that, that funny looking joke that everybody worship over there with that little beanie on his head. Uh -huh. That yarmulke. He, he in league with, with the synagogue of Satan. That's, That's why both of them got that yarmulke on their right. head. They in league together, bro. Injustice right. league, what I call it. But mm -hmm. he going to go over there. He going to set up in the, in, in the holy Jerusalem. And he going to call himself God. I want to show you something. Go ahead and read it. Verse 10. Uh-huh. And with all deceivableness uh -huh. of unrighteousness. With all deceivableness them, of unrighteousness in them that perish. In who? In them yeah. that perish. That's right. See, when you falling after this guy, you bound for the lake. With the snake. So if you doing Catholicism mm -hmm. doctrine, so you got the name right, mm -hmm. but you ain't got the doctrine right. That's right. You got the name Jesus Yeshua right, but you right. ain't got the doctrine right. He said, the ones that follow this guy uh -huh. is going to be what? They bound to perish. Go ahead and read. Because they receive not the love of the truth. Because they receive not the love of the truth. That they might be saved. That they might be saved. So, hey, 
you ain't even got a chance to be saved if you following after Roman Catholicism, Sunday worship, Baal worship. Mm -hmm. You ain't got a chance. Hey, it said if the righteous scarcely be saved, yes, sir. where should the yes, sinner and the ungodly appear? Sin is transgressing of the law. Yes, so if you ain't keeping no law, yes, you a sinner. So if the righteous scarcely be saved, where should the sinner and the ungodly appear? And the way of saying the what? Death. Yes, sir, brother. Go ahead and read, my yes, brother. Sir, brother, verse 12. Read. That they all might be damned. Uh oh, you skip the oh, left. Or skip the left. Skip that. That's what I want to go. Ooh, for. Left. Back, I'm sorry. Go ahead. And for this cause, uh, God shall send them strong delusion. Who gonna send them a strong delusion? God shall send them the power, delusion. the most high power gonna send them a strong delusion. That they shall believe a lie. Oh, he gonna make you believe a lie. And they so believe it, man. And they believe it they every day. Believe it. You show them something in this book that they doing is contrary to the word. And they said, man, my big mama told, man, my big mama was a, a good holy person. She mm -hmm. taught me how to say, you know, this, that. That's a lie. Right. If big mama didn't tell you to keep the law, that is a commandment. Right. Big mama was under the same delusion that you under now. That's right. The book tell you in Revelation said he deceived the whole world. And kind of deceived them. Kind of deceived them, bro. That's right. Read on. Yes, sir. Verse 12. Read it. That they all might be damned. That they all might be what? Damn. You mean God going to make you believe a lie so you can go to the lake? Woo. We yeah. reading this, ain't it? I ain't adding to and I ain't taking away right. from. He said that God going to send them a strong delusion mm -hmm. that they may believe a lie. Right. That they all might be damned who what? Who believe not the truth. Who believe not the truth. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. Man, I can't give up that pork oh, chop. Man. God ain't gonna kill me for eating that shrimp. Oh, God man. ain't gonna kill me for eating that, 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 that catfish. Man, he gonna kill you. When he say don't, he these ain't the kill. suggestions of the Lord. These are the commandments right. of the Lord. That's right. That's and right. if you're gonna be a servant, you're gonna do what he tells you to do. At all times. And if you don't, he gonna send you a strong. He, hey, when he send folks, brothers and sisters your way, Telling you what does say the Lord, mm -hmm. and they call it telling you, and you turn your ear away from the truth. He gonna get you. That's when he gonna send you that strong illusion. Mm -hmm. Now his mercy endure forever, but there's a time when mercy run out. Cause we just read it, didn't he? Just he said he gonna bro. send them a strong loose, mm -hmm. them that, that fall out to this guy. Yes, sir. That's what he just said, bro. We reading book right here. Mm -hmm. We ain't making none of this up. That's right. None of it. Blurry vision. That's right. Dull ears. Let's go to the next mm -hmm. place. Jeremiah the two. No one's gonna talk about us bad right here, bro. Jeremiah the two. He sure will, bro. Jeremiah the two. Well, we ain't gonna read one, bro. I couldn't take too much of this. I had to just break down one verse, bro. <laughs> Jeremiah the two. Cause he talked about it. he called us up, man. I, when I started looking at the definitions on that, man, I'm like, no, <laughs> man. For real? Ooh. That, that's how it is, Lord. Mm -mm. Jeremiah the two. And we're going to read one verse, bro. We're going to read. Read verse 21. 21. Read. And yet I had planted thee a noble vine. And he talking about Israel. I planted you a noble vine. Go ahead. Holy a right seed. A right seed. How then art thou turned into a de degenerate plant? A what? A degenerate Hold plant. Hold up, man. Degenerate. Having lost the physical, <laughs> mental, and moral <laughs> qualities. Listen. Considered to be normal and desirable. Mm. You didn't. The Lord don't even want you. Mm. He said you have lost the qualities or the ability of being desirable, moral. He said you are a degenerate plant. That's cold, See, man. man, when you read these like that word fat, I looked it up. Man, the Lord talk about us, babe. My Lord, cold. Man. Read that again, bro. Yeah, I have planted thee a noble vine, uh -huh. holy right seed. Uh -huh. How then I thou turned into a degenerate plant? Having lost the physical. Mental or moral qualities considered to be desirable or normal, mm -hmm. abnormal, showing the evidence of decline and immoral or corrupt person. Finish it out. How then are thou turned into a degenerate plant? Uh huh. Of a strange vine unto you. You a strange vine under him. He said, I planted you a noble vine, but you a strange vine under me now. That's cold, man. That's cold, brother. That's cold. Man, the Lord talk about us bad, man. Man, it's cold, man. See, people read some of stuff and gloss God, over these man. words, man. Your own God, Your bro. Own God, bro. That's hard. That's a hard lick, man. It's cold, man. Man, when I read that, man, I almost started crying, dude. I man. promise you, I did. Bro, that's cold, man. And, and, and that's the thing, man. You be putting some of these lessons together, bro. I know you do. And man, when I be good, it's really studying, studying. 
man, I, I get messed up, bro. I get messed right. up when I read some of this stuff, man, how the Lord think about us. Because we had it all. Yeah, we had it all, man. It was we was gonna be the big ball of shot call. Yes, sir. We supposed to be. Yes, sir. We everybody supposed to be coming to us for money. We supposed to be in the top. We supposed to be in the top. But hey, man, man, we we fell off, dude. When when that when we say we fell off, we really fell off, bro. Yeah, we really fell off, man. So, bro, let's go to the next place. That's cold. That's cold, ain't it, man? Let's go back to Isaiah the forty-four. Flip mm. back. Flip back to Isaiah the 44. Man, when I read that, dude, I was like, man. <laughs> Make you feel smaller than the ant league, don't you? Sure, do, we're going to Isaiah the 44, my brother. And we're going to read verses 18 through 20. We're going to read these three verses here. Okay. What do it say, my brother? They have not known nor understood. Uh-huh. For he has shut their eyes. Again. Go ahead. That they cannot see. That they cannot see. And their heart. Mm -hmm. That they cannot understand. I told you. He didn't cut off. He didn't cut off your, your ability to comprehend. He didn't cut off your ability to understand. He didn't cut off your ability to see what's going on in your life and say, hey, I need to make a change. Mm -hmm. Don't don't you wind up with that strong delusion. That's right. That you might believe a lot. Because he said that they all might be dead. Go ahead. 19. Read it. And none consider it in his heart. And none ponder his way. Go ahead. Neither in their knowledge nor understanding to say, I have burned part of it in the fire. Uh-huh. Yeah. Also, I have baked bread upon the uh, upon the coals of the earth. Right. I have roasted flesh. Uh-huh. And eaten it. And shall I make, make the residue thereof an abomination? Right. Shall I fall down to the stock of a tree? We do it all the time. We do it all the time. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, all brother. Time. All Merry the time, brother. Lord, how much? Verse 20. Read. He feed it on ass. Uh-huh. Mm, a deceived heart. A what? A deceived heart. A delusional heart. mind. A delusional mind. A tricked out mind. Yes, sir. And we say it in the street. Yes, sir. Fall of anything. Pop a cone on it. Mm-hmm. Jail bait. Jail bait. Go ahead. Mm -mm. He feed it on ass. A uh -huh. deceived heart. Had turned him aside. Uh huh. That he cannot deliver his soul. Oh, there it is again. Mm. Line upon line. Right. That he cannot deliver, deliver his, his soul from the lake. Go ahead. No say. Uh huh. Is there not a lie in my right hand? You don't. You so foolish. Man. You don't know that you done cut cold. a tree down, made a statue with part of it, mm. cooked with part of it, mm. warmed yourself with part of it. Mm. Then you gonna take that same tree. You gonna buy that. You gonna bow down to it. You ain't got enough sense to even know it. Damn, Did cool. you just read that, bro? We just read that, man. Just read that, man. You don't, you don't know that. Then I got the nerve to decorate. Then you got the nerve. And he told you specifically. Don't do it. About Jeremiah that decorating with silver and gold. Jeremiah T. Jeremiah T. So hey, this mm. people hard as wax, gross. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. And they cannot see and cannot understand. Let's go a little bit further. Yes, sir. Let's go a little bit further. I told you, man. We had to do this series on the mind in so many different parts because the Lord hit you in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. And then when you start linking that science up with this stuff, bro, man, the Lord, man, got it lock, stock, and burn. Oh, you can't get it's away. Sealed. It's sealed tight, it's bro. It's sealed tight, bro. It's sealed tight. Let's go to the new book. Let's go to First Timothy, man. He got you every which way you go. Sealed tight. Now, and you're going to try to tell me there's, there is no greater knowledge than the knowledge of the most high power. Sure. Zero. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you know. This is it right here, bro. Mm -hmm. He got you. I don't care how smart you, you got <clears throat> or degrees you got. God got you. Mm -hmm. Where we at? First uh, Timothy first, the four. four. First Timothy the four. We're going to read verses uh, one through four, bro. I know I changed a lot. This man, Lord, just throwing That's stuff on me, man. I was changing it up. But hey, all praise to the most high God of mm -hmm. Israel. First Timothy 4, and we're going to read verses 1 through 4. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read. Now, the Spirit is speaking expressly. Hold up. I'm in second Timothy. Hold up. <laughs> Man, I get caught up in this thing. Now, go ahead. <clears throat> now, the Spirit is speaking expressly. Uh-huh. That in the latter time, yes, some sir. shall depart from the faith. Some And see, some of y'all that's in the truth not going to depart from the faith. Because you know how I know that's going to happen? Because scripture can't be broken. Can't be broken. It says... 
Now the spirit, meaning the word of the Lord, mm -hmm. speaking expressly, mm -hmm. that in the latter time, these times, some of y'all are going to depart from the faith. Mm -hmm. But go ahead. Giving heed to, to seduce the spirit. And you're going to start listening to the things that are not of God. They're going to be strictly of the devil. Seducing spirit. Go ahead. And doctrines of devil. Go ahead. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Yes, sir. Having their conscience seared with their heart eyes. Oh! Woo! Do you know what it means to sear something? When you sear something, that means you like you cauterize a wound yes, that's sir. dead. That yes, skin sir, is bro. dead. So it's like having your conscience, your mind, your thought Seer. process seared with a hot oh. iron. Yes, sir, bro. And it's once you sear it out, it's dead meat. It's yeah. good for nothing other yeah. than keeping the blood flow from going mm -hmm. through, bro. Having your conscience mm -hmm. seared with a hot iron. Go ahead and read. Forbidden to man. For, oh, we know who that is. <laughs> and commanded to abstain from me. See, that's them booty baddies over there in the, mm -hmm. in the Catholic Church. Yes, sir. Them, and my brother called them <laughs> butt top burgers. <laughs> they forbidden to man. They yeah. go through Lent. You can't eat no meat. He telling you who it is. Yeah. They up there right. in the rectum, rectory, wrecking rectums. Mm -hmm. Spending $10 billion a year selling out of court. For messing with little boys. That's right. So Because you don't want to marry. You're burning in lust. But go ahead and read. Which God had created to be received with thanksgiving. Uh -huh. Of them which believe and know the truth. Right. For every creature of God is Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's, I went too far. I should have stopped there too. Okay. We're going to leave it right there. We're getting into something else we don't want to deal with right, right. now. Another mm -hmm. lesson, another time. Let's go to uh, Proverbs. Proverbs, brother. The one. Mm -hmm. Go to the book of wisdom from my brother Solomon. Proverbs 1. Because we gonna, when you start understanding the things of God, mm -hmm. then he let you in on some family secrets. See, that's why we can say we smarter than our teachers. Mm -hmm. We smarter than our enemies. Because we serving the true and living God, and he starts speaking. When he starts speaking things, these people can't understand because he's speaking them in Proverbs and riddles and mm -hmm. parables. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's all a proverb is, a parable, a riddle. That's it. And they can't understand. Can't understand. But he said, hey, I'm going I'm to reveal these things to you. Mm -hmm. He said, I'll tell you, Israel is a given to know these things. Mm -hmm. But see, hey, don't 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 fall away from the truth. That's but right. some of them are going to depart from the truth. But hey, we mm -hmm. hey, we going to try to hold on this thing long as we can. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 1, my brother, we're going to read verses 1 through 7, then we're going to skip down. All right. When you get it, go ahead. The proverb of Solomon. Uh-huh. The son of David, king of Israel. Mm -hmm. To know wisdom and instruction. Yes, sir. To perceive the words of understanding. To perceive, to understand the words of understanding. Mm -hmm. To see them, to perceive them. Go ahead. To receive the instruction of wisdom. Uh -huh. Justice and judgment of equity. Yes, sir. To give subtility to the simple. Yes, sir. Make the simple smart. Go ahead. To the young man knowledge and discretion. And see, when you got some knowledge, you learn how to be discreet. Mm -hmm. When you got some knowledge, you... You know, you you they can't call you simple, mm -hmm. simple minded. See, when you got when you in the things of the Lord, that's right. Go ahead and read, bro. A wise man will hear. A wise man will hear. It will increase life. Yes, sir. And a man of understanding shall shall attain unto wise counsel. And you ain't gonna be ready to kick against something when you know it's right. That's right. See, you go. Some of these right. brothers tell them something right. Oh man, that's right. They ain't what that mean, that man. Who you? Who are you to tell me? I've been teaching for such and such and such. You still wrong. Still wrong. I don't care. And what? A wise man will attain to wise okay. counsel. Go ahead. That's right. To understand the proverb. To understand the proverb. And the interpretation. And the interpretation. The words of the wise. Uh -huh. And their dog and saying. Dark saying mean their hidden meanings. The right. hidden sayings. Go ahead and read. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Yes, sir. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Uh-huh. And I'm going to say it again like I said last week. Shock remain. You just heard what the Lord called you. A fool. Because, see, see, you don't fear the Lord. That's right. He said that a fool don't fear the Lord. That's right. He, Egyptologist man, always ragging on God, the most high power. I see you all the time ragging on him. You a fool. And, hey, you, you fool for the fire, bro. Woo you fool for the fire. Man, make that cover. Death made a covenant with death, bro. That's what the book say. Hey, yes, sir. Bro. You made a covenant with death. Speak gone, on it. They gone, They threw book it. So you a fool, man. That's right. That's right. I didn't say right, the book bro. said. Don't get That's mad right, at me. Skip right. down, bro. 22. Skip down and restart at 22. We're going to read 22 through uh, 
31, go ahead and read. How long he simple one? How long he simple one? Well, he loves simplicity. And he talking to Israel. Go ahead. And the scorn of the light and their scorn. Uh, and what? And fools hate knowledge. He called you a fool again, not brought to you. The Lord calls you a fool. That's right. Go ahead. Turn, turn you at my reproof. Turn at my reproof. Behold, uh -huh. I will pour out my spirit upon you. Uh -huh. I mean, unto you. Uh -huh. I will make known my words unto you. And I will make known my words unto you. Mm. He going to make you understand these dark sayings. That's right. Go ahead and read. Because I have called uh -huh. and he refused. Oh, hear, O Israel, and you don't hear. See, O Israel, and you don't see. That's right. Go ahead. I have stretched out my hand, uh huh, and no, and no man regard. Go ahead and read. But ye have have said a said and not all my counsel, uh huh, and with none of my reproof. And see, every time one of these brothers and sisters come to you with this truth, and you don't receive it, you said and not the counsel of God. That's but it. he got something for you. We gonna keep reading. He, 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 when you said it, he said I done stretched out my hand. When he sent one of these brothers and sisters teach you the truth, tell you the truth. That's the Lord stretching his hand under you. Mercy, and if you slap that hand, watch what he said he going to do. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read, yes, bro. Yes, sir. Verse 26. Read it. I, I also would laugh. <laughs> oh, go ahead and read. Go ahead. That's cold. <laughs> I, I, I also would laugh, laugh at your calamity. calamity. Uh-huh. I will mock when your fear comes. And when you up there, no, 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 he up there, oh, no, he up there mocking you. He said, because you didn't oh, want to listen. When you call me, I'm going to laugh at you. Laugh Since you laughed at my servant trying That's to right. tell you the truth. That's he right. said, when your calamity come, my I'm going to laugh at you. I'm going to even be mocking you. You're going to be down there. Oh, Lord, please. He's going to be sitting down there up there. Oh, oh Lord, Lord, please. please. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what the Lord yeah, be doing yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Did you want to mock? Mock that. Yeah. Go ahead and read. Yes, yeah, sir. Man, verse 27. Read. When your fear coming as desolation uh -huh. and your destruction coming as a world. As a world, we. When distress and anguish coming upon you, uh -huh. then shall they call upon me. In your affliction, you're going to seek him early. But go mm -hmm. ahead and read. But I will not. Out. And but I will not. Say so you don't need you pray. That's he said the, the, the heaven above, you're going to be brass. Yes, sir. And the earth beneath you and iron. Yeah. We didn't read it, but it's in that Deuteronomy 28. Yes, sir. Hey, man. And he said, hey, man, I ain't going to be. Don't call on me. I, I'm going to be laughing at you when you call upon me. Yo, the destruction going to come like a tornado. Yes, sir. going to come about out of nowhere. going to hit you. And ain't going to be nothing you're going to be able to do. Yes, sir. Hey, laugh. We reading book, ain't we? Yeah, we read, read it on. Read. They shall seek me early. Yes, sir. But they shall not find uh -huh. me. Uh-huh. For that they hated knowledge. For you hated knowledge. And did not choose the fear of the Lord. Yes, sir. They were, they were none of my counsel. Uh-huh. They despise all my reproof. Yes, sir. Therefore shall they eat of, eat of the fruit of their own way. Yes, sir. And be filled with their own device. I see the lad we Same thing make you laugh, make you cry. Right. Yes, sir. Sure will, brother. And same thing make you laugh. He going to answer you according to the idol that's in your mind. <laughs> See, Lord ain't playing. See, y'all, hey, man. I mean, I keep telling you when I read this book, man, and I keep saying the Lord telling you all this stuff. Man, we ain't got to do all this. It don't take all that to serve the Lord. Okay. All right. And it's simple to serve the Lord, man. It's simple, man, but they don't want to do it, bro. They don't want to do it, bro. They don't want to get out of their comfort zone. They want to do what they want to do. That's crazy. Man, he could have asked them for two hours. They weren't going to do it. They weren't going to do it. We ain't got it in us. Mm -hmm. And that's why you gotta learn to fit it. You gotta understand who you dealing with and who you gotta fear because if you don't. That's right. You just heard what he said he gonna do. That's you gonna be thing, looking bro. and crying, and he gonna be making fun of you. We're going to the next place. They don't understand. They don't no understanding, bro. No, no, no. Psalm the 78. Psalm the 78. Psalm the 78. We're gonna read verses one through eight. You want to do a little, just a little skip. All right. Psalm 178, we're going to start at verse 1. We're going to read through verse 8. Then we're going to skip just a little bit. What do you say, my brother? Give ear, O my people. O my people. To my law. Uh-huh. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. Yes, sir. I will open my mouth in a parable. Uh-huh. I will utter dark sayings of old. Right. Which we have heard and known. Which we have heard and known. And our fathers have told so, us. So where did it fall off at? Mm. He, didn't he mm -hmm. say, teach them to your sons mm -hmm. and your sons? We read that, right? Yeah, we read that, bro. Line upon line. Go ahead and read. We will not hide them from their children. Right. Showing to the, I'm sorry, showing to the generation to come 
the praises of the Lord. Yes, sir. In his strength and his wonderful works that he had done. Go ahead. For he established a testimony in Jacob. Oh, he just singled out a people. Mm -hmm. He said he established a testimony, testimony in Jacob. Jacob. Mm -hmm. did, he, did he say Edom? No. Did he say Japheth? No. Did he say Ishmael? No. No disrespect. But hey, he going to deal with his people. And he gonna let us deal with y'all. That's right. If y'all don't want to hear, then he gonna call you a fool too. But go ahead and read. And appointed a law in Israel. Yes, sir. Which he commanded our fathers mm -hmm. that they should make them known to their children. Yes, sir. That the generation to come might know them. Might what? Might, might know, know them. Might know. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. Even the children which should be born. Oh, it's gonna be a for perpetual. Yes, sir. To your son and yeah. your son, son. Yeah, go ahead and read. Yes, sir. Who should arise and declare them to their children? Yes, sir. That they might set their hope in God and not forget the works of God. Of the most high power. But keep his command. Uh-huh. And might not be as their father. Uh-huh. What? Stubborn and rebellious generation. Hey, just wrong, wax fat and kicked. Mm, 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 mm. Go ahead and read. A generation that set not their heart aright. That set not their mind aright. And whose spirit was not steadfast with God. And even their thoughts were not steadfast on the most high power. So, hey, once again, and them was the one that seen the smoke. That's right. They heard the that's, thunder. That's so, that's they so heard right. the voice of the Lord. And they told the Lord, all that the Lord have seen, we're going to do and be obedient. That's what they see. And as soon as Moses went up in the mountain, they act the fool. They act the fool. Act the fool. Soul train line broke out. Act the fool, man. The left handers was passed around. So was. No. Bushes man. was shaking. Mm -hmm. Made them a molding cat. Made molding cat. They were doing it all. Man. They did it, bro. Let's go. Uh, what we at? Skip down. What, what we at? Skip down to verse 20. Verse 20. I mean, verse 10. Skip yeah, down to verse 10. 10. And read 10 and 11. They kept not the covenant of God. They kept not the covenant of God. And refused to walk in his law. You refused to walk in the law. And forget his works. And they for what? Forget his works. That is again. Didn't comprehend. Didn't remember. Go ahead. Right. And his wonders that he had showed. Them. And the wonders that he had showed. Them. Let's go to the next place. Matthew the 13th. Let's go to the new book. Let's go to the new book, Danny. Mm -hmm. Matthew the 13th. Verse, we're going to read verses 9 through 15, and we're going to skip down, okay. my brother. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read verse 9. Who has ears to hear, let uh, him hear. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, mm -hmm. Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Right. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know. It is know given unto you to know. know. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Yes, sir. But to them, it is not given. But to them, it is not given. Now, I want y'all to take a pause for the call and realize the disciples was Israelites. Yeah. The Pharisees was Israelites. Yeah. But it wasn't given to them yes, sir. to know. But he said he said it law in Jacob. Now, if he said it law in Jacob and some of the Jacobites or Israelites didn't understand that they all might be what? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you can read in this book. Caiaphas knew who Jesus was. Right. And he still set him up to be key. Still how to crucify, crucify. Caiaphas saw who he was, knew the scripture, and didn't perceive or apprehend or comprehend. Man, I might not want to do that. That's right. He did that. Right. So, he, hey, they are not all Israel that are of Israel. That's right. But go ahead and read. Verse 12. Read it. For whosoever had to him shall be given. If you got more knowledge, more knowledge is going to be given to you. And he shall have more abundance. Go ahead. But whosoever hath not, uh -huh. from him shall be taken away even that he had. Even that little bit that you do know, the Lord has snatched that out your mind. Mm -hmm. He'll block it. Like it, he'll block the receptors where you can't yeah. recall, where you can't look back and remember. But go ahead. Verse 13. Uh -huh. Therefore speak I to them in peril. Yes, sir. Because they see and see not. Uh huh. They hear and they hear not. And what? Neither do they understand. Neither do they comprehend. But go ahead and read. But but in them is, is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. Yes, sir. Which said, By hearing ye shall hear mm -hmm. and, and shall not understand. Right. And seeing seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. And we read that in Isaiah 6. So he said, Hey, man, I'm going to do this to them. Mm -hmm. Even though they are the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, most of them, it tell you that Matthew 8, man. 
they, hey, they gonna come from north, south, east, and west. Yes. They gonna yes. sit down at the table, Abraham, and the children of the kingdom gonna be cast yes. out. You mean to tell me you want to go through all this drama we'd have been through with all these thousand years? Folk with their foot on your neck, mm -hmm. last high, first five, mm -hmm. sitting on the back of the bus, don't mm -hmm. drink out the fountain. You're going to go, they killing you on video. You're going to go through all that. And some of their children going to be sitting at the table with Jesus, and you're going to be in the lake of fire. Be the lake of fire. Ain't Come on, man. Ain't that something? You ain't got no mind to see that? Come on. They ain't trying to perceive me, bro. Where we at, bro? Verse 15. Read. For this people hard as wax grows. Oh, that fat and greasy man. But go ahead. Mm -hmm. And their ears are dull of hearing. Dull of hearing. And their eyes, they have closed. The eyes, they have closed. Let's say any time they should see. Now, I want y'all to listen to what this brother finna read. Because Matthew going to say it a little bit different than John and Isaiah said. Mm -hmm. Listen what he say. Go ahead, bro. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes. Uh-huh. And hear with their ears. Uh-huh. And should understand with their heart. Uh-huh. And should be converted. Uh-huh. And I should hear. And I should hear. Lest at any time they change their mind. That's right. And I got to heal these jokers now. Because mm -hmm. he said if you turn to him, he going to heal you, right? That's right. He going to say, right. he said, man, well, I'm going to close their eyes. Mm -hmm. So they can't hear. Mm -hmm. So they can't That's understand. It. And they can't comprehend. And they bow to the lake with the snake. That's a hard lick mm -hmm. for God to be on that side yeah, of you. That's cold. When he laughing at your calamity and still say, oh, I got something for you. <laughs> then that's cold. That's, that's a cold, cold game. That's too cold. I, I don't know about y'all, but that scared me. Man, that's cold. That scared man. me. That's cold, man. Man. And you can't get away from this guy. Can you just see that, man? You... Man, Lord, just mocking you. Mocking you, man. Then still got you set up for the fight. You trying to explain yourself, and he mocking you. And he ain't listening. <laughs> yeah, you up there <laughs> boo-hooing and snot blowing, and he yeah. sitting up there laughing, laughing at you. Laughing at you. That's cold. Man, that's cold, man. But God still here a sinner prayer when he tells you. That's some garbage, man. Man, I'm trying that's to That's some garbage, man. Right? QTZ nothing. Yes, man. sir. Where we at, man? Nothing, we, we, man. We, where we oh, at? Man, skip down, skip down verse 34 and 35. Read that, bro. All these things spake Jesus unto the multitude in parable. To the multitude in parable. And without a parable spake he not unto them. Why? That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet saying, mm -hmm. I will open my mouth in parable. Right. I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. Whoa. Whoa hold up. That's cold. I'm going to utter things that have been kept secret from the foundation, foundation of the world. world. So, hey, you if you walking in things in the mind of Christ, you know stuff that was thought of before the world was bought was made, man. That's yes, brother. And then you won't tell me I need to be an Egyptologist. That's it, bro. Negro, please. You don't want to do that, man. Man, you crazy. I want I, that's what I want. You don't want to do that, man. I want to know what the most I know. That's it. That's Family it. secrets. That's it. That's it. Where we at, Dad? That's it, man. Verse uh verse of 36. No, nah, we threw that. That's that? yeah, just 35. Okay. Then one thirty five. Let's go, let's go back to Isaiah. We're going to go to the Isaiah the 29. Isaiah the 29. And we're going to pick it up. We're going to pick it up at verse 9, brother. We're going to read 9 through 16. 9 through 16. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read. Stay yourselves and wonder. Uh huh. Cry ye out and cry. Uh huh. They are drunk. Uh huh. But not with wine. Right. They stagger. Uh huh. But not with strong drink. Bad doctrine. Go ahead. For the Lord have poured out upon them the spirit of deep sleep. Hold up. Now the Lord poured. First he said you are strong to lose. Now he said you have poured out a spirit of deep sleep on you. Go ahead and read. That's crazy. Go ahead. Yes, sir, brother. Go ahead. Man, why? Okay. And have closed your eyes. Uh -huh. And the prophets in your rulers. Uh -huh. The seers have you covered. So your pastor don't know nothing. Man. He just said Duh. your prophets and your rulers and your seers have he covered. Duh. He didn't close their eyes. So uh, once again, the blind leading the blind, you both go into the ditch. Yeah. And the ditch in this case is the pit, which is the lake of fire. Yes, sir. So yo, that's why when you go when you go look at look at a video or a lesson like this here, and you go back and add that jack leg pig meeting joker, hey man, what about this? He said, Well, uh, I had to get back with you later. Mm -hmm. Oh, we ain't supposed to really know that guy. He don't know nothing. He's blind. He blind. Dumb, dumb dog, dog, brother. That's that what the book called dumb, yes, dumb greedy dog. Yes, sir. They can never have enough. Yes, sir. So go back and ask y'all pastor. Go back and ask him. 
Is she a oh. good jack leg joking ass or something in his head? He can't. Mm-hmm. Come the Lord said, he done covered him. Yes, he, he, Lord done covered his eye. You, that's why he said, you take the book to one that didn't learn. And he said, the book is sealed under me. Then you take the book to one that unlearn. He said, I, 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 can't I can't read. So, hey, the Lord ain't going to lie. That's right. Go ask him. Ask him why. Go ask him this since y'all go to Sunday school. Ask him why y'all keep Sunday. And see if he can show you out of his book. Not, not his opinion. Show you out of the book That's why right. y'all keep Sunday. That's right. I double dare you to do it. He can't. He ain't going to be able to do it. Okay. Because it ain't in there. Okay. Doctrines of devils. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and read. Verse 11. Uh-huh. And the vision of all is becoming to you as the words of a book that is sealed. A word of a book that is sealed. Go ahead. Which men deliver to one one that is learned saying, read this. Uh, what he say? I pray thee. Uh-huh. And he said, I cannot. For it is seen. But he got two eyes. Mm-hmm. But go ahead. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned. Uh-huh. Saying, read this, I pray thee. Uh-huh. And he said, I am not learned. Uh-huh. Well, for the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near, near me with their mouth uh-huh. and with their lips do honor me, right. but have removed their heart far from me. You have removed your mind far from me, but you always calling my name. Mm-hmm. But we read on Proverbs, he don't care about you calling his name, right. and you ain't doing what he say. That's right. Go ahead and read. And the, and the fear toward me is taught by the precept of by men. By the precept of men. Yes, sir. The, not the true fear of the Lord or the Most High God. Your fear toward the Most High God, the Most High Power, is taught by the precepts of men. Mm-hmm. His opinion. That's right. He, gonna, he ain't reading you no book like we read you no book. He love everybody. He love everybody. Which is a straight guy. He said, I love those that love me. So I don't know where you got that. All you got to do is pray on No, that's some God. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't read that in this book. I ain't read it. I ain't, and you ain't going to read in this yeah, book. Tell your pastor to read you that. See, just go, go to the stuff. Go to him with the stuff y'all believe and tell him to show it to you in the book. That's right. That's all you got to do. That's right. That's Don't right. go to him and show it to you in the book where it's okay. They can't. They ain't going to make you, bro. They can't. Go ahead and read. What we at? Uh, verse 14. Read. Therefore, behold. I will proceed to do a marvelous work Uh-oh. among this people. Go ahead, what are you going to do? Even a marvelous work and a wonder. Yes, sir. Uh, the wisdom of their wise men shall perish. Oh, the wisdom of your wise men going to perish, shall dummy. Perish. Go ahead. And the understanding of the prudent men shall be hid. Going to be what? Hid. Uh-huh. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. Uh-huh. And their works are in the dark. Uh, what they say? And they say, who see it though? Uh-huh. And who know it? Though? And we not already told the eyes of the Lord are in every place. Yeah, what, well, Especially man. your mind. Yeah, so you ain't had nothing, Panda. So I ain't. Go ahead and read. Verse 16. Uh-huh. Surely you'll turn up things upside down. Oh, they didn't turn things upside down. Mm-hmm. Seven, one. Mm-hmm. See, seven, seven day, one. third right. day. Upside down. That's right. Go ahead and read. That's right. Surely they turning things upside down shall be esteemed as the part of slave. Uh-huh. For they shall the work say say on him that made it. Uh-huh. He made me not. Uh-huh. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it that that I'm sorry, he had no understanding. So, same thing, Mr. Mm-hmm. Shopper man. Y'all always talking about ain't no God did it. Oh, I'm the power. I mm-hmm. sit on my energy. Mm-hmm. You gonna tell God that he don't know what he doing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mr. Egypt Thomas man is kicking and ragging on the most high power? That's right. You gonna tell me some dog face, half man, half dog? <laughs> you the thing is free? Don't tell him what it's free. He ain't got to understand. No understanding, brother. You crazy, man. man and to my non messianic maniac, my non messianic brother, maniacs, what I call them, mm-hmm. that say that's kicking on Jesus on his shore. Hey, man. You, you, do you know what you doing? They don't. You kicking on the very one that got your salvation in his hands. That's right. That's what you're doing. See, we hit everybody. We don't, we don't, we don't, you know, hey, mm-hmm. we don't leave nobody out. Everybody right. get hit. That's right. You come look at us, right. you're going to get this. If the shoe fit well, right. if it's too tight, take it off. That's right. If you can't stand the heat, get out the damn kitchen. That's right. Because this ain't our opinion. This no. Books. We reading book. And we sticking to the script. Always, bro. Can't do nothing but that. That's it, bro. Can't do nothing but that. Where we at? Bro, that's it, bro. That's it. Let's go to, uh, where we at? Uh, Malachi. 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 Let's go to Malachi, the last book of the Old Testament. Malachi 2. Go to Malachi 2. And, uh, we're going to pick it up. We're going to read three verses of script. 
still talking about these jackleg preachers in Israel and the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Malachi 2, we're going to read verses 7 through 9, brother. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So a teacher, preacher, pastor, lips is supposed to keep, keep knowledge. knowledge. Keep not your opinion. Knowledge. Not the precepts of men. Right. It's supposed to keep knowledge. That's but go right. ahead and read. Right. And they should seek the law at his mouth. And, but your priest keep telling you the law done away with. Yeah. So how you going to seek the law at his mouth? That's right. Go ahead. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Oh, he going to be the messenger of the Lord of hosts. But go ahead and read. But ye are departed out of the way. You gone out of course. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Ye have caused many to stumble at the law. Amen. Mm -hmm. You didn't call many to stumble at the law. Mm -hmm. And the book tell you, man, woe to the one that teach against the law and teach others against the law. That's right. Go ahead and read. That's right. Ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi. Yeah, the Lord of hosts. Yes, sir. Therefore have I also made you you contemptible uh -huh. and based before all the people. Uh -huh. According as ye have not kept my way. But what? But have been partial in the law. You see, that's why a lot of people, especially mm -hmm. young people, man, don't want to have nothing to do with church. Because they see the falsehood. They see the, they see the hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. And so he done made... You say you a teacher or a pastor. Yeah, he done made you contemptible yes, to the sir. people, man. Yes, sir. Man. Because we get in this folly. We get in this garbage. Mm -hmm. We got 15 churches on one block in the neighborhood steady going down. A single mama can't get a loaf of bread from y'all churches. That's right. Uh, Go to the church. I need some help. They going to run the books and see if you the page your time. That's right. Book that. Give her what she needs. That's right. The books say if the poor need some of you, you supposed to open your hand wide to the poor. Because mm -hmm. there's the poor crowd to the Lord against you, man. The Lord gonna get That's you, right. bro. That's book, man. They don't understand that. That's book. They don't understand that. 15 churches on one block and the kids can't get a decent lunch meal. Come on. But the past rolling B. That's right. Roll Royce. Uh, 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 McClane. Bentley. Bentley. Whipping it up. Yeah. Diamonds on the feet. Mm. Dimes on his white toe, fur coat. Two million dollar house. Two million. Oh, man, and the folks steady going down. Neighborhood steady getting worse. Crime steady going up. But it's 15 churches on one block. Come on, dude. Let's go to the next place, bro. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next place. Go to Jeremiah the four. Mm -hmm. Some heavy hitters in here, ain't it, man? Some heavy hitters, man. The Lord, man, he, hey, he it's all covered, bro. Man, Air base covered. Every base cover, bro. Jeremiah the four. We're gonna read one verse. Still talking about us not having any understanding, mainly because these jack leg preachers, mm -hmm. who I got a serious problem with. <laughs> I mean, I got a serious problem with y'all, boy. And I'm a tip, man. Man, they you better hope when I see you, I see you on a Sabbath day. Man. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Because I see, I'm getting that. You. Man, I'm gonna get I hope that. I see you on a Sabbath day. Because if I see you the other day, it's only crack. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, bro. I'm going to get you. Mm. Jeremiah the 4, verse 22. What did mm. he say, my brother? For my people is foolish. For my people is foolish? They have not known. Uh-huh. They are Scottish children. Scottish. Scottish children. Do you know what that word Scottish? Go look it up. You stupid. Your God called you stupid. Your God just called you foolish and stupid. We already read the breakdown. You retarded. You abnormal. The Lord is telling you all this, and you ain't listening. That's cold. That's cold, bro. This is the Lord talking about his people. Go ahead and read. And they have none understanding. You ain't got no understanding. They are wise to do evil. But what? But to do good, they have no knowledge. You ain't got no knowledge, oh, man. Man, we good at being slick. Ooh. We good at being underhanded. We good mm. at popping, popping cool. game, old folk. Mm -hmm. But to do good, we have no knowledge. No, no. No That's what the book man. say. Now you gonna argue with God? We ain't got no understanding to do good, bro. That's a sad, sad state to be in. Switch gear, bro. bro. Now we're gonna see how we can clear up our vision through the keeping and meditating of the word of the most high God. Let's go to Joshua the one. It's cold, ain't it? It's cold, man. Joshua the one. It's a side of children, Stupid children. Retarded you, degenerate vine. Lord be using harsh words right. on us, oh, man. Harsh words we be talking about us, man. Degenerate. 
And then, you know, they, they <laughs> add me, man, why, why you so hard all the time? Why you, where you get that from, T? I got it from, from my God. God. That's it. Yeah. I got it. Hey, the yeah, Lord, God, they, man. oh, we want to come and tell you to come and serve the Lord. No. No. Nah, they had a Lord bring it. Sir, and right. I ain't going to bring it like that. That's right. We received the, the cup. Man, that's some garbage. Some trash. BFI. BFI. Waste man. Stanking God. Stanking God. Man. I'm oh, talking about. Boy. Man. What? Oh, no, soft man. Man, I can't stand these cowardly Negroes, man. Oh, they're going to be peace. Nah, man. No, it ain't. This is my Bible in my hand. Okay. This is my sword in my hand, and I'm swinging it. They got a Bible. Don't read it. Don't even read it. Got dust on it. Two years thick on that junk, man. Let's go, man. Let's see how we can clear up our vision through keeping up and meditating on the word of the Lord. We had Joshua the one. We're going to read verses 7 through 9, my brother. When you get it, go ahead and read. Only be thou strong and very courageous. Yes, sir. Now, you, hey, God don't deal with cows now. Mm. He's going to let you know that now. Mm. Go ahead and read. That they may, may observe to do according to all the law. All the what? All the law. All the law. Go ahead. Which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Uh-huh. Turn not from it. To the right hand nor to the left. Uh huh. That thou mayest mayest prosper whether so ever. Now he course. just gave you the key to prosper. That's right. He just gave you the key. If you want to prosper in the things of the Lord, if you want him to bless the work of your hand, you can't turn to the left or to the right from the law. That's right. Totally different what Crumpho Dollar tell you. Man, that joke with that boy. Anyway. Stay out of stay out of reaching distance from me, cash flow. I promise you, bro. Stay out of reaching Man. distance from me. But go ahead and read. So, bro, verse eight. Yeah, this book of the law shall not depart out of, of thy mouth. Listen what he said. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. You gonna think on this all the time. Meditate on it day and night. Mm -hmm. That thou mayest observe to do all according. according no, to your book wrong. It say do some, man. No, all. I, your book don't say according to some of the things. Or to do according to all. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure. Go ahead. That is written therein. Uh huh. For then thou shalt make thy ways prosper. Then for then thou shalt make thy way prosper. And then thou shalt have good success. See, if you meditate on His word day and night, don't be no coward. When it comes to standing up for the things of God, then he's going to bless the work of your hands. Then he's going to reveal the family secrets. The then he's going to increase knowledge. The fear of the Lord at the beginning of wisdom. That's it. That's it. Read that. Where we at? You read that now? Uh, yeah. You read now? You read no, now? No, no, read that now. That. Verse 9. Read that. Have not I commanded thee? He, now, this ain't no suggestion. He said, have I not commanded thee what? Mm -hmm. Be strong. Be strong. And of good courage. And of good courage. Be not afraid. Yes, sir. Neither be thou dismayed. Don't be troubled in your mind. For the Lord thy God is with thee, uh -huh. wherever thou goest. Wherever you go. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Right. I will oh. fear no evil. For the Lord is with me. That's right. That's, That's what right. I'm talking about. He wants some soldiers, man. That's right. Joshua was a soldier. When he when Joshua came through there, he hey, soldier, he coming through there, yes, uh, and he won't play. Man, I'm telling you, take care of business. Man, you better go read take some of that stuff. Ask them boys up there, man, uh, 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 AI, man, what he did to them king. Hung them boys up, man. Play no games with it. First Timothy the four. Did we already read that? First Timothy the four. No, uh, go to second. I think it's second. I, I think uh, I does a typo on mine. No, I know, but I think I typed that wrong. I think oh, okay. 2 Timothy the 4. Okay, 2 Timothy the 4. Yeah, go to 2 Timothy the 4. I, I think I did a typo on that, my brother. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is why I want. 2 Timothy the 4, we're going to read verses uh 1 through 4, then we're going to skip down. Okay. Then we're going to uh pick it up at the 14, 16. Go ahead and read that 1 through 4, brother. <clears throat> I charge thee therefore before God. Now this man said, I charge you, I admonish you. Go ahead. And the Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his coming. Learn Amen. something on our way to learn That's something. something. He right. said he's going to judge the quick and, and the, the dead, dead. when? And, and his appearing. And so his big mama ain't in heaven. So ain't. Nup, nup, Ray Ray that did all that dirt, they ain't in hell front. That's right. But go ahead and read. Preach the word. Preach the word. Be instant in season 
out of season. Like I said, you come across me with that file, I'm going to get you. Go ahead and read. Reprove. Reprove. Rebuke. 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 Exalt with uh, all long suffering. And what? And doctrine. And doctrine. Not my opinion. Not the precepts of man. That's right. With doctrine. You got to be able to go in this book and prove everything that you say or you say you believe in. Mm. Go ahead and read. For the time will come when they shall not endure sound. And that time is now. Yes, sir. Go ahead. But after their own lust, uh -huh. shall they heap to themselves teachers have uh -huh. many ears. And what? And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. They're going to turn away their hearing of the truth. Mm -hmm. And shall be turned unto faith. And shall be turned unto faith. Skip down to 14, brother. What do it say? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, man. I didn't, I didn't type over this thing. Yeah. Kill that. We threw with that. Okay. I, I can just type over this thing to death, my brother. Type over this thing to death. Uh, yeah. Let's go to Ephesians. Okay. Let's go to the book of Ephesians. We're going to pick it up at verse 1, bro. I mean, chapter 1, verse 9. Okay? All right. Chapter 1, verse 9. Then we're going to skip down. Ephesians the one, verse nine. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read. Having made known known unto to us the mystery uh -huh. of his will, of his what of he his done made will. that them family secrets again. He done made known to us the mystery, mystery of, of his will, will. Mm -hmm. cause we 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 seeking out the true and living power. But go ahead and read. According to his good pleasure. According to his good pleasure, which he had 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 proposed purpose in, purpose in himself. Uh huh. That that in the in, in the dispensation. Of the fullness of times, times he might gather together uh -huh. in one all things in Christ. Uh, all things in who? Christ. Buddha. Christ. Muhammad. Christ. Harry Christian. Christ. Okay, go ahead and read. But which are in heaven uh -huh. and which are on earth, uh -huh. even in him. Hey, everything going to be good. You know how you going to do that? When he when he put down all rules and the Father, he handed everything over to the Father. Mm -hmm. He just said everything in heaven That's right. and in earth. Skip down, bro. And pick it up in the 15, what it say? Wherefore I also, uh -huh. after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, uh -huh. and love unto all the saints, uh -huh. cease not to give thanks for you, uh -huh. making mention of you in my prayer. Go ahead. That, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom. Oh, he going to give you unto you the spirit of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And what? In revelation. In revelation. In the knowledge of him. In the knowledge of by, by what? 18. The, the eyes of your understanding. Stop. Not these eyes. The eyes of your understanding, the portals of your mind, like we've been dealing with, bro. Mm -hmm. The things that you can read, the things that you can see and hear that's being taught of the truth. The eyes of your understanding being what? Being enlightened. Being enlightened that ye may know. That is the hope of his calling. Uh huh. And what and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Yes, sir. Let's go to the next plate. And we got about four more. We're gonna be out of here. Ephesians, I mean uh, Proverbs the six. Go back to the old book. Proverbs the six. We're gonna pick it up at verse uh 20, my brother. We're gonna read 20 through 23. Okay. Proverbs the six, verse 20. What did it say? My son. Keep thy father's command. Keep thy father's command. And, and forsake not the law of thy mother. Now, the law of your mother is the law of your land. Your mother is your land. Mm -hmm. The land of Israel. That's where the law is supposed to be at. But go ahead and read. Bind them continually upon thy heart. Bind them continually on your mind. Meditate like we read in Joshua. Go ahead. And tie them above thy neck. Uh-huh. When thou goest, it shall lead thee. Wherever you go, this word going to lead you. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. It's going to be talking to you in your sleep. And when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. It's going to talk to you when you wake up. Yes, sir. You ought to be going to bed with the yes, word in your mind. Bro. When you sleep, the Lord going to be sealing your instructions yes, in your sir. sleep, like it's saying, Joe. And when you wake up, you ought to be having that word on your mind. Yes, sir, brother. Go ahead and read, bro. For the commandment is a lamp. The commandment is a light. And the law is light. Uh-huh. And, and, and reproof of instruction are the way of life. And reproof and instructions are the way of life. Mm -hmm. So if you ain't going along with this, you ain't got the right way of life. So right. We just read that. That's right. Let's go further. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. Proverbs 15. 15. Flip over to 15. Proverbs 15. Pick it up into 28, brother. We're going to read 28 through 32. What does it say, my brother? 
The heart, the heart of the righteous study to answer. The mind of the righteous study is to answer. But the mouth of the wicked poured out evil things. Garbage. Go ahead. The Lord is a, it is far from the wicked. The Lord is far from the wicked. But he hears the prayer of the righteous. Yeah, he like we, he keep telling you that. If you ain't walking in this, he ain't listening to you. He may be having a little mercy on you, but sooner or later, he going to send that strong to lose. Ooh, that's right, bro. Go ahead and read. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart. The light of the what? Eyes. The understanding of your eyes, of your perception, of your comprehension. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, rejoices the mind and what? In a good report, make it the bones fat. Man, it's health to your bones, bro. Praise the Lord. Read it, man. 31. What did it say about the ear? The ear they hear the reproof of life abided among the wise. So when somebody rebuke you, don't give it your feelings. Because, it, hey, it, read that again, Dad. What did it say? The ear they hear the reproof the, of life. The ear they hear the reproof of life abided among the wise. So you're a fool if you don't hear, hear reproof. Right. They go for husband, wife, That's brother, right. sister, mother, cousin, mm-hmm. teacher, student. If you don't want to hear no reproof, that's right. You ain't abiding in life. You abiding in death. We just read it. Finish it out, bro. Thirty-two. Read it. He that refused instruction uh-huh. despises his own soul. You despise your own soul. Wow. He didn't he say he gonna turn that thing on their own head. He gonna turn their own sins against him. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read, yes, bro. Sir. But he that hear reproof, get, get it, it understand. Get it understand. Thirty-three. Oh, the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. Uh huh. And before honor is humility. Before honor, you got to humble yourself. That's right. If you want to be elevated, first you got to humble yourself. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the next place. Mm-hmm. Psalm the thirty-seven. Flip back. Psalm the thirty-seven. We got one, two, three, four more after this. Psalm the thirty-seven, brother. And we are gonna pick it up at th- we're gonna read thirty and thirty-one. Psalm the 37, 30 and 31. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read. The law, the law of his God is in his heart. The law of his God is in his heart, is in his mind. None of his steps shall slide. None of his steps gonna slide. The wicked watches the righteous. Uh-huh. And seeketh to slay. The him. wicked always try to do something to the ones that's righteous. Real, go to the bro. next place. Real, Proverbs the seven. Flip back to Proverbs. Where it's hidden like steel up in him. Real, hidden bro. like hammer. Oh, dang, bro. Proverbs 7, my brother. Proverbs 7, we're going to read verses 1 through 7. When you get it, my brother, go ahead. My son, uh-huh. keep my word. Keep my word. And lay up my commandments with you. Yes, sir. Keep my commandments and live. Keep my commandments and live. And my law as, as the apple of thine eye. What you meditate on, the eye, I mean, we already dealt with that penile gland. Right. The, the law should be the, the main thing you focus on, you meditate on. Go ahead. Bind them up upon thy fingers. Uh huh. What? Ooh, write them upon the table. Of write thy them mind. on the table of thy mind. That's it. Just like the tablets that's in the ark. We're gonna deal with the ark. I keep telling you, but well, we're gonna deal with it. Go ahead and read. Say unto wisdom. Say unto wisdom. Thou art my sister. Yes, sir. And call understanding thy kin, thy kin's one. Yes, sir. That they may keep thee. From the strange woman. From that strange woman he talking about that bell worship, that yes. false doctrine. False doctrine. We're gonna deal with the strength the whore and the true wife, but go ahead and read. From the stranger which which flattered with her words. Yes, sir. For at the window of my house I looked through through my, my, my casement. Uh huh. And and beheld among the simple ones. The who? I, the, the simple the ones. retarded one. I discern among the youth uh-huh. a, a young man void of understanding. Don't have no understanding. Passing through the street uh-huh. near her corner. Uh-huh. And he went the way of her house. And he went into the whole house. He went into the Harlan houses. The houses of false doctrine. The precepts of men. Mm. I beheld that young brother. Mm. And he fell off with the chakras and the Egyptologists. The non-Messianic maniac. I saw you, man. I'm reaching out to y'all, brother, and y'all going away into the whole houses. Mm-hmm. Come back to your husband, which is the Lord Jesus Christ, or who is known also as Yeshua Hamashiach. That's right. Go to the next place, brother. Luke. Let's go to Luke six three and I mean six and thirty nine. I'm sorry, Luke the six and verse thirty nine. 
We're going to read 39, brother, through uh, 42. Luke 6. I'm flipping. I'm flipping. I got to get there. 39 through 42. What did it say, my brother? 39 to 42. Uh-huh. And he spake a parable unto them. Uh-huh. Can the blind lead the blind? Can the blind, who the ones who can't see, can they lead others who can't see? Hmm. Shall they shall they not both fall in the ditch? Yeah. The disciple is not above his master. Uh-huh. But everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. Uh, everyone that is perfect, meaning everyone who abided in this perfect law shall be as the master. You're going to graduate to the Elohim. Go ahead and read. And why beholdest thou the moat that is in thy brother's eye? Uh-huh. But perceivest not the beam that is in thy own eye. Now, I got a little speck in my eye. Daddy got a big old eye booger in his eye, but he right. see a little speck in mine. Right. Get your eye clean first, brother. That's right. Before you try to clean mine, vice right. versa. That's right. I need some eye side. Yeah, I need some eye side. Yeah. Go ahead, Ricky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either how canst thou say, say to thy brother, uh -huh. brother, let me pull out the moat and I'm sorry, pull out the moat that is in thine eye. Uh -huh. When thou thyself beholdest not the beam that is in thy own eye. What? Thou hypocrite. Thou hypocrite. Press out first the beam out of thy own eye. Uh huh. And then shall thou see clearly. Oh, the then you better see. Your vision will not be blurred. Mm -hmm. See, then you will be able to see clearly. And your vision will not be blurred. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. To pull out the moat that is in thy brother's eye. Yes, sir. Let's go to uh next to the last place. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians, the three. Clear up some of this blurred vision. Help our brothers and sisters clear up some of this blurred vision. And these heavy ears, brother. Mm -hmm. I hope this was edifying for everybody. I know it was for me. Cut me like slicing dice against the blade when I put this lesson together. I so need that, brother. Yes, sir. All praise to the most praise high the God. Lord, man. Praise the Lord. Second Corinthians <clears throat> 3. And we're going to pick it up at the 7 and 8. And then we're going to skip down. Second Corinthians 3. Okay. Second Corinthians the 3. That what you got? Yeah, yeah, what I got. Second, okay. I was in phone. Uh, <clears throat> verses 7 and 8, then we're going to skip what you got, bro. But if the ministration of death, uh -huh. written, written and engraving in stone. Now listen to this. If the ministration of death was written in, was in stone, was what? Was, was glorious. glorious. Now, the law is glorious, but look at what he's trying to tell you. Go ahead and read. So that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for uh -huh. the glory of his countenance, uh -huh. which glory was to be done away. This brother was beaming from being in the presence of God, getting the commandments and all the other statutes and judgment. He hung around God. Even the one that was written on stone was so glorious mm -hmm. that he began to beam. He began to shine. He began to glow. But go. I want to go here because I want to show you something. Go ahead and read, bro. Verse 8. Uh-huh. How shall not the administration of the Spirit be rather glorious? It's going to be the administration of the Spirit, not the letter of the law, mm -hmm. but the Spirit of the law is going to get you to be even more glorious. How so? Go ahead and read. Uh, okay, go ahead and read. You want to skip down to verse 11? Oh, skip down to 11. I'm sorry. Verse 11. For, for if that which is done away was glorious. For that which was done away, which is glorious. Much more that, that which remaining is glorious. The one that remaining that is more glorious. Go ahead and read. Saying, saying then that we have such hope. So we have such a hope, not a surety, a hope. Go ahead. We use great great plainness of speech. And we finna speak to you plain, but go ahead and read. And not as Moses, which, which pulled a veil over his face. Not like Moses, had, he had to put a veil on his face. That the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to uh -huh. the end of that which is abolished. They couldn't even look on, on Moses to that which was abolished, the old covenant. Mm -hmm. When he was walking in, when Moses walked fully in the old covenant, they couldn't even look at Moses. Right. Now, how much more if you walk in the new covenant, cannot, people not going to be able to look at you? Mm -hmm. Because he's going to tell you something. Go ahead and read, bro. 14. Uh-huh. But their minds oh, were blinded. They what were they blinded? Their minds were blinded. They minds were blinded because they would have did the same thing Moses had done. Mm -hmm. They would have been just like Moses. Because right, God bro. is no respect of a person. Right. But their minds were blinded. Right. Their eyes were closed. Mm -hmm. Their ears was dull. Go ahead and read. For until this day remained the same veil untaken away uh -huh. in the reading of the old time. Uh-huh. 
which veil is done away in Christ. So, did you just catch me? This veil Woo! still remained on Israel today. Right now today. But they say it done away they with They say it done away with He said, mm. but hey, if you get away, get rid of that, you ain't going to reach the thing that Christ trying to get you That's to, right, bro. brother. That's right. Listen to what you're reading, Israel. Right. Look at what, understand what you're reading here. Mm -hmm. Read that last verse again, Dan. Man. 14. Read it. But their mind was blind. But their minds were blind. For until this day remained at the same veil and taken away. That same veil is not taken away. In the reading of the Old Testament. Y'all can't understand Old Testament. That's why y'all want to say the law done away with. Mm -hmm. But go ahead and read. Which veil is done away in Christ? Which veil is done away in Christ? Wow. That's cold. Last place, brother. That's cold. That's cold. Last praise place, the John the nine. All pray to the Most High God. Praise oh, Lord, brother. John the nine. John nine. That's and we're gonna pick it up at verse six. We're gonna read. We're gonna do a little skipping here, y'all. So bear with us on this last one. John chapter nine, uh -huh. verse six to eleven. Then we're gonna skip. Start at verse six. When you get it, go ahead and read. When he had thus spoken, uh huh. He spake on the ground, ground and made clay. Of the spittle. Uh-huh. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man uh -huh. with the clay. Now, this is what Jesus has been trying to do the whole time. He's trying to anoint the eyes of the blind spiritually. But we're going to use this physical. God always use a physical to show you a spiritual truth. Now, he spat on the ground. He spat on the dirt. And, hey, made some clay. And he put him on the eyes of the blind man. But go ahead and read. And said unto him, go wash in the pool, pool, pool of, of, of Salon. So, Go wash in the pool, which is interpreted sent. After I open your eyes, I'm going to send you. And you're going to have to go teach Israel. Go ahead and read. Which is the interpretation sent. Uh-huh. He went his way, therefore, uh -huh. and washed and came came seen. Go ahead. The neighbors, therefore, and they they which before had seen uh -huh. him him that he had, I'm sorry, that he was blind. Uh-huh. Said, is not this this that that spake in bed? Sat in bed. I'm sorry, sat in bed. Uh-huh. And some said, this is he. Others said, he is like him. Uh-huh. But he said, I am he. He said, man, he look like dude, but that ain't him. He said, no, nah, it's me. Go ahead. Therefore said they unto him, How were thine eyes open? Uh huh. He answered and said, A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes, uh -huh. and said unto me, Go to the pool pool of Salem and uh -huh. wash. And what? And I went and washed, and I received sight. Okay, skip down for the sake of time. Skip down to verse 17. Go ahead and read. They said unto the blind man again, Uh huh. What says thou of him uh -huh. that he had opened thine eyes? Right. He said he is a prophet. Uh huh. But the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind. So they he physically blind. Mm -hmm. They spiritually blind, and they don't believe. They Go ahead and read, bro. And receive his sight. Uh huh. Until they called the parents of him that had received his sight. Uh huh. And they asked him. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. And they asked them, saying, "Is this your son? Uh huh. Who he say was born blind?" How then does he now see? Uh huh. His parents answered them and said, Uh huh. We know that that this is our son. This is our boy, and that he was born blind. We know he was born blind. But by what mean mean he now see it? We know not. We don't know. Go ahead. Or who had opened his eyes? We know not. Uh huh. He is of age. Ask him. Ask him. He shall speak for himself. Yeah. Go ahead. Twenty two. For these words spake, spake his parents uh -huh. because they feared the Jew. Because they feared the Jew, cowardice is not a, a recognized or appreciated That's by right. the Most High. Go ahead. That's right. For the Jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was Christ, he should be put put out of the synagogue. See, they scared to get put out of their church. Mm -hmm. Like when you go to your parents, your mm -hmm. your your uh, uh, family members with this truth, scared they gonna put you out the church. That's right. But go ahead and read. Therefore said his parents, uh -huh. he is of age, ask him. Ask him. Skip down uh, uh, to 26, brother. Keep reading. 26. Uh -huh. Then said they to him again, uh -huh. what did he, he, he to thee? Uh -huh. How open he thine eye? Uh -huh. He answered them, I have told you already. I have told you already how he did it. Go ahead and read. And he did not hear. Uh -huh. Wherefore would you hear it again? See, dull of hearing. Mm -hmm. Dull of hearing. I done told you what he did. You don't even believe that. That's right. How long, you That's simple right. one, will you love simplicity? That's right. Go ahead and read. 
Will ye also be his disciples? Uh, are you? Are you at it? So you can be his disciple? Mm -hmm. No, they ain't doing it for that reason. Go ahead and read. Mm -hmm. Then they reviled him. Uh huh. And said, "Thou art his disciple." Uh huh. But we are Moses. Now that we just read, that's why I took you over there to that Second Corinthians, mm -hmm. so you can. They said we Moses disciple. Right. Y'all can see Moses. Understand what Moses would do. Right. You will that stain there right. was blind your eye. Did is doing it to them and they're doing it right doing now. It right. But, now. Oh, we Moses disciple. But he said that right. thing that Jesus was more better, didn't he? That's it. See, That's I took right. you over there for a reason. There's a method to my man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read verse 29. Uh huh. We know that God spake unto Moses. Uh huh. And for this fellow, we know that <laughs> from whence he is. <laughs> they don't even know the one they talking about was the one who Moses was talking to. That's crazy, man. They don't even understand that. They don't understand. And they going to be teachers of the law. Right. Go ahead and read, bro. All right, man. That is so crazy, man. Where I was? 29? Yeah, 29. We know not God speaking to Moses. Uh -huh. but for this fellow, we know not whence he, he is. He, he is from everlasting to everlasting. But go ahead and read. The man answered and said unto them, Why why herein in is a marvelous thing right. that ye know not from whence he is? Uh -huh. And yet ye had opened my eyes. Hey, if they didn't knew what the prophet said mm -hmm. over in Isaiah 61, they didn't know who this guy was. No. But go ahead and read. 31. Read it. Now we know that God hear not sinners. Oh, for God hear not, not sinners. Mm -hmm. Transgressors of the law. That's right. He ain't listening. Go ahead and read. But if any man be a worship of God uh -huh. and do it his will. And do it his will. Him he hear. Him he hear. The prayers of a wicked is an abomination unto the Lord. That's right. But go ahead and read. Since the world began. Since the what? Since the world began, uh -huh. was it not heard that any man opened that? I'm sorry, opened the eyes of one that was born blind? No, it, it showed late. Right, not bro. physically, it wasn't. Right, bro. But go ahead, let's skip down in uh, 39 for the sake of time. We're going to close out 39 through 41. 39. Uh huh. And Jesus said, "For what? For judgment, I am come into this world. For judgment, I'm coming to this world that they would see, not might see. Oh, uh huh." That they which would see, see might be made blind. He done flipped it. The ones that think they know everything, he going to close your understanding. Yeah, well, Just like he did with this brother. He was physically blind. He opened his eye. And the one that was not physically blind, he closed their mind up so they could understand who he was. Yes, sir. Do you see it, brother? Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. 40. Uh -huh. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words uh -huh. and said unto him, are we blind all What did Jesus say? <laughs> and Jesus said to them, If you were blind, you should have no sin. Right. But now you say we see. Therefore, your sin remains. And whenever you try to come against the word of God and think you know everything, your sin remains right. with you. Mm -hmm. That's the lesson. Blurred vision. And dull, dull ears. Praise all God. praise. Honor. And glory. great glory yes, is unto our God, yes, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God, God of Jacob. Jacob. To our brothers and sisters in the faith, yes, we sir. salute you. Yes, sir. This your boy T. Boogie. And this your boy Gerson Israel. We're going to holler at you next week. Last leg of the mind series. Don't miss next week now. Don't miss, Don't miss this one. If you, if you ain't seen none of them, see this one. Yes, sir. See this? And then guess what? And after that, my boy going to be stepping to the scene. He going to be bringing a word like he always do. Yes, sir. I'm going to be sitting over there reading the book. For the bring it to you 100. Yes, Ten toes down. Ten feet on the ground. Yes, feet back on the slab. Yes, We're going to holler at y'all next time. Peace.